Hello everyone, this is Martin. Welcome back to another weekly update on the trading opportunities for this coming week and we're looking at April the 3rd to the 7th. I also want to welcome all the traders from around the world who are who are subscribing to me on this uh, channel and uh, once again thank you very much for that also to all my current students and fellow traders here in the metro uh, Toronto area and for those people that have stayed with me for a number of years now so again thank you for that and uh, we're going to be starting in just a second here so uh, again this uh, week the theme is market uncertainty okay and um, what does this mean? Well, the markets are still not really trending in any major way. Uh, the U.S. currency itself is uh, in a bearish market. Uh, and since all the currencies, all the other major currencies in the world are tied in to the U.S. dollar, if the U.S. dollar is right now a little bit weak or sideways, um, it's going to cause a lot of um, uh non-long-term opportunities and uh, we really have to wait for um, something that like uh, a trending patterns that will form eventually once the US dollar um, you know strengthens but in the meantime we can look for short-term trades what does that mean well basically I'm I'm teaching you end of day trading which means to look at your charts on a daily uh, basis and we're looking at opportunities for this week only conditions may change but again uh, everything that you see in this video is for uh, for what I see the opportunities on a shorter term basis for this week so it may happen tomorrow the next day uh, when you get into a trade and if it's profitable it's often best to uh, close the trade at the end of the next next day uh, this is certainly we're, we're certainly not looking to buy and hold or sell and hold for a longer term so again shorter term trades uh, because of the uncertainty in the markets okay and now we're going to do one more thing we are there i have to uh, show you the disclaimer okay this is my general risk disclaimer again everything that you see in this video presentation is for educational purposes only okay even though i may be recommending certain levels where you can uh, possibly look at trading opportunities where to get in and so on uh, again um, you have to use your own judgment based on your experience level um, but most importantly it's uh, uh, you know the uh, the markets can change at any time I mean what I see today may change tomorrow uh, and obviously I can't present a video to you every single day with the different changes uh, of, of the market as it happens so again uh, view this video at your own risk and uh, the educational content I provide you is to help make independent help you make invent, uh, independent investment decisions and to help you uh, learn more about the forex markets okay okay this is the euro usd daily you can see that right here this is the daily chart and this is what happened as of last or the previous friday here uh, we have the sunday monday trading the tuesday wednesday thursday friday okay so this is the trading week we're looking at and what and what i see could happen from here on in for next week uh well first of all take a look at the macd the trend line is now has now crossed below the zero the uh, histograms are certainly showing momentum to the downside up the uh, take a look at the candle the last Friday last Friday uh, we have a close below the 50 SMA and so in the short term I see uh, price heading down okay and once we get to this area here take a look at the swing low previous swing low here okay I've drawn the uh, I've drawn in a support line right there so once price comes down to here we can expect price to come higher again uh, maybe go sideways but again in the short term I'm looking for price to go down okay now I'm also going to switch to the uh, LEOD chart this also gives you a different perspective on what I'm looking at and you can see here price has come down all last week we closed below the 50 which is this blue line we closed below the bottom yellow 
um, line right here. And so I see price heading down, down, uh, down further. And um, the next uh, previous swing low, which is right here, okay, right there, okay, do you see that? Uh, that would be where price would come to first, and if it breaks this area, it would come down even further. So um, on the LEOD chart, we can expect price to come here, uh, maybe go higher, come back down, and then maybe back up again. Okay, that's what I see on that. Let me take that off. Now we get to the British pound USD. Now, last week, um, this was an interesting pair since uh, uh, Britain exercised its um, um, Brexit Article 50. And uh, that means uh, they formally were saying to the European Union that, hey, we're out of here and we want to go on our own. And here's the documents that you need. So we're now going to uh, uh, get, uh, get ourselves involved in negotiations. Uh, between ourselves and the European Common for trading and economic reasons and everything else. So uh, I believe the um, negotiations will last about two years, and uh, that certainly is going to create some great trading opportunities for the British pound. What do I see here? Well, you can see last Thursday and Friday, we had a huge bounce off the 50. On Friday, we had a huge candle, up candle here. And what that means, usually I would wait like I'm thinking price is still going to go higher okay once it breaks this uh, previous swing high here it most likely will come back all the way to you see this uh, dash line is the 200 we have a gray rectangle here that is our major resistance we also have a previous swing high here to the left you can see where my mouse is so eventually I think um, even even though uh, a lot of people were thinking that Br the British pound was going to collapse with the Brexit uh, and everything else, it, it really has held its own. And what we want to make sure is that the price stays above the 50. I believe in the short term, price is going to go higher. But the best way to enter, the, enter a, a new trade here is just wait for a pullback, wait for price to come back to this area. And uh, once it pulls back, then you want to buy uh, above 125.68. 125.68 if we think price is going to pull back and go higher again okay so that's what i see there uh let's take a look at the um the leod for a second um and i want to go to the see this is the daily chart you can see that but let's take a look at the weekly so we had a bit of a doji but i i obviously think price is um it's just resting after a uh, and these are weekly candles, by the way, so it's a bit of a rest, but I think price is going to go a little bit higher back to the daily there. So um, the next area of resistance would be right here to meet up with the 200. I've drawn in this gray area. Um, that would be if, if price breaks here, it's going to go all the way up there. OK, now we get to the Australian USD daily chart again. This is what's what happens since uh the previous Friday here with this uh, red vertical line and I believe that price here is heading down it's uh, trending lower you can take a look at the MACD as well um, most likely price is going to come down eventually to this whole area of confluence uh, here's the 200 the red line 200 there's the 100 SMA here's the uh, a major support area okay and uh, for price to come down all the way here, price first has to come to this trend line. Take a look how I drew this trend line. It took a previous major swing low here. Take a look where my mouse is. I joined up with another previous swing low. The two points here gave us the trend line. So pri uh, price in the short term, would, I believe, would come down to the trend line test the area, maybe go sideways, and then finally break through if it's going to be heading down, okay? So with Australian dollar, I would say sell below 0.7618. 0.7618 if we think price is going to go down further, okay? And eventually if it does, it may come down all the way down to here. So that could happen in the short term. Now we get to gold uh, and i always switch to gold because 
what happens in gold usually um, you know will help the Australian dollar the Australian dollar is tied into the price of gold you can see we had a um, on Friday we had a reversal uh, price was heading down but uh, price uh, has reversed higher now um, or started to higher and is closed just above the 8 EMA so I believe in the short term price could go higher okay and um, that means price could come back here retest the pre the previous resistance area and and possibly come back down maybe this way or straight through okay so uh, depends on what you think but uh, let me just take that off for a second. So in the short term, I believe price is going to go higher uh, or maybe sideways uh, up. And up here, we have the next resistance zone and the 200 SMA, okay? So now we get the New Zealand USD. Here, I believe price is sideways. So I would wait here. My bias is to the downside. Uh, again, maybe a retest of um, the the resistance zone in gray here but take a look at the macd it's almost right at zero so uh price could certainly come higher and if we believe price is going to go higher what we want to do is we want to buy above 70 50 zero see right here where the arrow starts uh, we want if we believe price is going to go higher buy above zero point seventy fifty if we believe price is going to go lower you'd want to wait all the way till price um comes down to the zero sixty nine sixty eight level right there okay sixty nine sixty eight so that's what i see there and um uh we also i want to have a quick quick look and the reason i say price is going sideways we want to have a quick look at the alley LEOD charts take a look right here sideways action mainly contained between um, the upper and lower yellow line price is coming back there but I want to switch to the weekly and this is interesting see the last two weekly candles we had a small little white doji there a little black doji there basically over the last two weeks Price is just really been going sideways. So it, it has come down on a weekly basis. Price, uh, the buyers attempted to push price higher, but it has never gone higher above this area, the 50 SMA on the weekly chart. So it's going sideways and really it could either go down or higher. Okay, now we get to the US CAD. This is the US CAD daily gain here stay away from this pair it's just major sideways um also want to point out something else for technical traders um, the moving averages are a mess here first of all you can see price is hugging uh up and down on the 8 ema price is above the 50 but look at this the 100 is above the 50 and the 200 is below below the 50 so what kind of a mess is that there's no real pattern here i mean if we were in a trending pattern then uh, you'd have um the eight above the above the 50 the 50 above the 100 100 above the 200 right everything would line up in order um uh and perhaps i could switch let me just take a look here okay it's been a while for any trend to emerge on the US CAD, but way back here in November of 2015, you can see here um, moving averages. The eight is above the uh, 50, above the 100, above the uh, above the 200. So that's that's the correct order. And uh, uh, since then, it's just been kind of up and down all over the place, right? Um, so short-term opportunities really good here and again right now stay away from this pair it's just just a mess it's just going sideways so you would want to wait for price to either uh, come higher above this resistance zone for you to take a buy trade or below here to take a sell trade down to the 200 again okay now we get to um, uh, gold I'm sorry to oil oil is tied into the uh, Canadian dollar and as the uh, fortunes of oil goes um so does the canadian dollar and here we can see the price of oil has been heading higher however this is a short-term 
uptrend to continue. You can see with the MACD, but we're heading into the 100 SMA, into the 50 uh, SMA, into a resistance zone right here, the gray rectangle. So price, yes, most likely will go a little bit higher, helping the uh, Canadian dollar. But after that, price most likely will uh, come up and perhaps make a U-turn back down to meet with the 8. Here's the 8, okay? And uh, then from there sideways and possibly down or up. But right now for this week, it could go up a little bit higher and then down. And that's going to create the sideways commotion with the, U, uh, with the um, U.S. Uh, Canadian dollar currency pair that we're currently looking at, okay? So let me take that off. Now we get to uh, U.S. Swiss franc. Okay, here's one pair that possibly could be tradable. It seems to be going higher. Take a look at the MACD. Uh, it may just go a wee bit higher. Here's the 100, okay? Price, you can see right now, has crossed uh, above the uh, 50 SMA, okay? And so if we believe price is going to go higher, take a buy trade above 10040, Okay, um, now the reason I say price could go a little bit higher is because I'm going to switch to the um, weekly chart and this is the LEOD. Okay, so there's the daily. You can see the last Friday's candle closed above the top yellow line, which means price most likely will go higher to the next previous swing high. This is the next resistance area right here. Okay, but the weekly chart shows something kind of interesting look at that that is one nice looking white uh bullish uh engulfing candle it completely engulfs the uh, previous black candle on the weekly basis so this is prompting me and telling me that most likely price will come higher to at least at least here okay which is uh, which is what you see on the daily chart so let me just take that off uh, I'll switch to the daily, okay, and you can see right here, okay. Now, finally, we got the U.S. Japanese, and uh, the key for this pair, the key, the key thing to watch is whether this resistance. Uh, well, here's is support. When price is coming back down, its support went up tested support again so the support is holding here finally support broke where price broke through support and now is testing the same area and and uh, what was previously called support as you know is now called resistance so the key is um watching to see whether the eight ema holds and this area as uh, resistance holds right uh, also whether the 50 holes so this whole area of confluence uh, in the short term I believe my bias is to the downside and if we believe price is going to go down lower what we want to do is sell below the one one ten seventy six I would wait to one ten seventy six here so that is the key um, uh, whether this whole area holds if it holds price most likely it's going to come back all the way down to the 200 you can see that right here this is a 200 sma okay so that's it for this week um hopefully you have gotten some interesting information as far as your education is concerned keep learning and um uh you know if you need to contact me for any reason or if you want any more information on my courses or learning materials, contact me. That's me, Martin, at mskyj007 at gmail.com. Once again, thanks for uh, watching this video. Send me your comments. Don't forget to uh, click on the like button on YouTube if you're watching this on YouTube. So take care, happy trading, and we will talk to you again soon.